Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna take you along with me on a call that was kind of strange. This customer called me in June and I uh, cleared his drain and got him going and he called back the same day. Actually, he didn't call, he left a message. Uh, left a text message saying it was still 83 degrees and I was not he doesn't live there he lives in Ohio and he's going to be moving down here so only now was I able to get back over there so I'm checking to see if there's anything wrong with the air conditioning kind of an odd call um but I'm gonna take you along that's really all I had today because doing preventive maintenances and stuff like that and please forgive the shaky camera i had forgotten to turn on the auto boost on the hyper smooth and it's a little bit shaky so forgive me on that stay tuned here it comes all right let's see what's going on yeah, so last time you were here, um, the air conditioner was, um, it was shutting off, right, outside, uh -huh. and you yes, said sir. that it had a drain, a uh, plugged drain tube. Yes, sir. And after you left, um, it cooled a little bit, but the house still got up to like 88 degrees during the daytime. Why didn't you call me when that happened? Well, I did. I sent you a text message. Well, uh, what number did you send it to? Because one of them is my landline and one of them is uh, my... Uh, let me see. It was June 16th and I sent a text message to you the next Said in the heat of the day, it don't seem like it's working very well. These aren't the best conditions to be trying to test it because it's 62 degrees out here. Yeah. We aren't going to have any real heat for a little while right now. Right. Yeah, I didn't know if there was something you could check out, you know. All right, we have a subcooling of. Eight point nine superheat of twelve point eight. Outside temperature is sixty two degrees. It was seventy two inside. Right now that 
that looks kind of normal. Probably run it in heat. I might get a better idea of what the pressures okay. are like in heat. I'm gonna let it run and cool for just a little bit right now, though. All right, just uh, walk in the door when you need to come in. All right, thank you. Yep. All right, yeah. So running it in cool right now it ain't gonna do a whole lot because um it's 62 degrees outside and these numbers right here I'm not sure if y'all can see that very well those numbers right there look pretty good to me considering the temperature <clears throat> This looks like one of my installs. It's got one of my thermostats on the wall. It may be. supposed to be a microfarads all right first we're going to test the 45 45.6 I don't think I'll try to put this where y'all can read it 45.6 and the 5 I've got 5.0 <clears throat> Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Something I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna jump from my yellow to my blue up top up here.
that energizes my blue, which energizes the reversing valve. The thermostat thinks it's running in cool, but we're running it in heat. Now I'm gonna put this over here on true suction. And put this one over here on my hot gas side. On a heat pump, this is always the liquid line, and this is the vapor line, which means it's vapor and cool and in heat. So, except at this time it's hot gas, and cooling is cool gas. Suction looks normal. Head pressure seems maybe a little bit low. I would normally expect something above 300 right now. Let's watch it for just a little bit. It does seem to be creeping up. All right, these are my pressures now. I'm up to 312, 313. It's still rising. This temperature right here is my hot gas temperature. I'm looking for something between 130 and 140. It can go a little bit higher, especially if you have like a clogged filter or something. But um, those pressures right there. Those pressures look normal to me. Y'all forgive me, I'm adjusting this camera. And from running cool, we've already got a little bit of a drip going. He said it wasn't keeping up in cool, and I'm not seeing any reason why that would be the case. I, I just, I'm not seeing that. You don't want to put those on too tight because they can actually kind of make like a little seal and become very hard to get off so I, I just put them on a little bit snug and these can be hard to get off so I only put them on halfway it still covers the end keeps dirt from getting in there Okay, yeah, so that was it. I didn't find any problem, and nor does he know that there has been a problem since that one day in June. Maybe he just just didn't wait for it to cool off. 
I don't know. Um, he's going back to Ohio, so here we go once again, not knowing if it's going to be working or not. But um, I told him to leave it on 72, and he can tell what temperature it is in the house from his security system. So if we have any problems, maybe I can get back over there and see what in the world is going on. But I don't think there's any problem. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you hadn't already. And I'll catch you on the next one.